Welcome to this short video about how to revise effectively. It is called the Revision Power Hour. Not to forget my guilty shameless plug, please continue to support the channel by clicking like on videos that you find useful, hit that subscribe and the bell to get that notification when new videos are coming. My next video will be episode two, answering your questions, so don't forget to ask your question by leaving a comment. So let's get going. Put your hands up if you've ever spent lots of time revising for a test, you know, spent all day Saturday creating a fabulous colour-coded mind map on a topic ready for the test that following Monday. Then you get the results and you have failed miserably. And this video is all about creating revision power hours. So this is a cracking find for those that need inspiring about getting started to do revision and it's called the Revision Power Hour. And it's come from this really useful website and um, called thelifemoreextraordinary.com and it's got lots of revision and study tips on there such as how to study independently, when should I start to revise, seven signs that you might be revising in the wrong way and what to do about it. I've given you the link below so you can check out this wonderful website. And the one thing that I want to focus on is called the Revision Power Hour. And this breaks down every hour that you study into five easy steps. And what this does, it avoids revision strategies that doesn't work, prevents you from studying in one way for too long, allows you to check if your revision is effective, and also practice exam technique and exam questions. And lastly, um, remember to include your teacher in this process as they can give you feedback on exam questions that you might have answered. So I thought I would have a go with my students in class to see how it worked. So step one, choose the exam question. Step two, spend up to 20 minutes revising the material to answer that question. So use student booklets, your textbooks, your revision guides, you could create revision mind maps, you could do revision cards, just anything to help you focus. Set the timer as this will give you an element of urgency to do so. Step three, spend up to 20 minutes answering this set question. Again, do it timed. After all, that is what you will be doing in the exam. So try to replicate these exam conditions. Step four, get your green and red pen out, start marking. Refer to mark schemes, look back at your revision notes. Did you say in your answer everything that you wanted to say? If not, add it in. And any bits that you struggled with, get down. As you may have got a bit confused, make a note of it to ask your teacher about it. And finally, step five, just make sure you do involve your teacher. Get them to look over your answer and it will just give you that little bit of reassurance that your exam questions um, is going right and it will just go a long way to help you with your confidence. So there it is, the Revision Power Hour. In reflection, I got my lot to evaluate this as a strategy. I did it both with my tutor group and one of my sociology classes. The positives, they felt like they could answer the question set. My tutor group, who were given facts on the Holocaust, found that they were able to write a good solid paragraph with key dates and events after only 10, mi 10 minutes revising, which they felt showed that it had some effectiveness. Some worries came with some stating that what about questions that would take longer than 20 minutes to answer? So my response is adjust the time. You could change it to 20 minute revision, 30 minute revision or whatever, okay? Um, and sometimes just writing an introduction and a first paragraph can still just be as effective. So there you go, a revision strategy that you can have a go at. Let me know how you get on in the comments or if you have a revision strategy that you want to share with me, just let me know. So not to scare you, but the uh, AS exams start the week beginning the 13th of May and the full A-levels the week after on the 20th of May. So please um, start revising um, and get yourself organised. As always, thank you for watching. All the links are below. Um, check them out.